I've been keeping my inventions in a uh, Word, uh, Google Docs thing that I keep on my phone here. So I'm just going to go in order here. Uh, so my first invention I'd like to bring forward is uh, 3D printable clothes. Um, you wouldn't need to clean them uh, if the clothes ever get old or used. They can just be broken down into the base material that is used to print the clothes. Um, I was thinking that during that process, it could also remove any dirt or contaminants uh, while it's being processed uh, for more clothes. Um, <clears throat> I know that NFTs aren't as popular today, but having been in the crypto world and understanding its implications outside of a, a stock, <laughs> you know, money making uh, trick, uh, cryptocurrency and NFTs, I think actually have some application. And one of the ideas I had if uh, we do a 3D printed clothes is that um, people, designers can create custom um, printouts be it logos or shapes, designs of the clothes as instructions to be given to the machine that could be printed out. And then those um, people, it's like on a store on the 3D printer marketplace. And so that everybody who purchases said uh, NFT that holds whatever image somebody created for the printout of the clothes they'd get 20 cents or whatever it would just you know because you're just giving access to an image or artwork there's no transferring or anything so i think just the small fee for their commission if you know it became popular enough and a lot of people would still be money making um and give incentive for people to create art and participate in that marketplace um, but it should be able to print any size and measurement from infant to obese adult um, tall short custom you know that's the whole point is it's always printing exactly to what you need um, you'll never need to buy other clothes again um, you know we have a trash problem and a lot of that is our old clothes that we just throw away or the wrong football team didn't win the Super Bowl so we just dumped 10,000 of the winning shirts that we print in anticipation out in Sudan or somewhere to go in a landfill or if, luckily somebody picks one up <clears throat> so I was thinking it would just be a one-time investment where a household could um, purchase the printer at home but if that's too prohibitive maybe there could be just like a storefront or a terminal at like Walmart or the mall or wherever your local mart is that you could go and use their machine just like you could use a you know a coin star or a red box or whatever movie rental thing um, and yeah it could just be hooked up to the internet to download new designs and updates and what's popular and whatever can still be trending but we would completely reduce um you know the cotton or whatever we're using uh the trees the impact on the environment uh if we're thinking about space flight we're not gonna or traveling off planet we're not gonna be able to just order new clothes from earth to be shipped to us we're gonna need to be adapt and print and i feel like a, a printable cloth um that we can wear that's a could have different applications or um things applied to it uh, i was thinking if we didn't want to use ink or color to print these designs maybe if there was some sort of um, metal in the fabric such as um I have it written down here uh, like titanium, sorry. Uh, titanium, I know when certain voltage is applied, it changes its color. So maybe if there's a thin amount of titanium in the cloth, when it's being printed or when it's done, a charge can be applied to change the color or something. So it's not 
so boring and could also attribute other properties um, that might be appreciated. Um, so yeah, just 3D printed clothes, any size, you know, it rips, toss it into the shredder to be broken down into the base material. Um, I don't really know what material I haven't actually, I'm not that type of engineer. This is just like a general overview. I'm not sure what material or if it's really feasible or applicable. I know that there's 3D printing that can do some pretty amazing things. So I feel like some people in that space would probably be best to figure out what's printable and what's able to be repurposed in the context that I'm presenting today. So that's um, my first invention. Thanks for listening.